I'm gonna give you the four best exercises that you can use to improve your explosiveness in the discus throw, and we're gonna start right now. So when we're discussing the discus, we have to recognize what the discus actually is. And if we can think about accelerating a two kilo implement or a one kilo implement or a 1.6 kilo implement or a 1.75 kilo implement within an eight foot range as quickly as possible, okay? So we have to understand that the thrower needs to have some sense of mobility. They have to have some ability to apply a large amount of force in a very short period of time. And they have to be able to control that force all at the end of the throw. So there's a lot of different places that we wanna focus on. We need to have good hip mobility. We have to have good mobility throughout our ankles. We have to have good mobility in our thoracic spine. We have to have even good mobility in our lower back, and that's gonna enable us to accelerate the implement as quickly as possible. The name of the game with the discus is rate of force development, and that's why we're giving you those four key exercises that you can use so that you can PR the discus and be more explosive. That first key exercise exercise is going to be a side med ball throw. So this is pretty self-explanatory. A lot of throwers struggle to catch a discus deep and accelerate it through that finish. They tend to be a little open at the front. You know, the left arm might be a little bit more open. They come out of the back and they might not get as wide as they need to get. And then their left arm continues to open. When their left foot grounds, all their weight has shifted forward and they don't have any tension. And so one of the aspects that we like to use is taking exercises in the weight room to try and have that cognitive feeling that you want the athlete to have in the circle. And that's where the side medicine ball throw comes into play, is you can get a very, very deep stretch rotationally, and now the athlete can learn how to get that deep stretch and come out of that stretch position as explosively as possible. I think using anywhere from a 10 pound medicine ball all the way up to a 20 pound medicine ball, try to throw that into a wall, try and throw it rapidly into a wall, and at some point in the year, I even recommend throwing it for distance into a wall. Okay, so you can back up longer and take longer throws. But as you feel that nice stretch, you get a long finish. And if you're getting closer to peaking season and you're doing shorter and faster throws, that's gonna help that feeling improve and you're gonna catch that discus really deep and explode out of the middle into a long finish. Now that next exercise, that second exercise is actually two exercises, okay? There's two movements here. There's one exercise that I love and it's known as the champion strides, okay? So this champion strides complex is essentially focusing on unilateral explosiveness into bilateral explosiveness and then back into unilateral explosiveness. This is something that we've used quite a bit with Sam Mattis. He got eighth at the 2020 Olympics. He's one of the most explosive athletes that I've ever worked with and we've used champion strides to help him improve his unilateral ability and improve his bilateral explosiveness. And so think about coming off of that left out of the back. If you can come off that left a little bit quicker, a little bit more explosively, then when your right ground's in the middle, you can be more stable and hold that position in the middle. Those are unilateral positions. Now, on the finish, you're in double support. You're in a bilateral position. So you wanna be able to accelerate and stay grounded as long as possible. And that's where that champion strides can help us is it can help you be more coordinated unilaterally. I recommend either using champion strides or using my favorite, my all time favorite plyometric movement, which is a hurdle hops, okay? So hurdle hops you can do at various heights. You can have it spaced out a little bit longer and it forces the athlete to be much more explosive, to learn how to coordinate rapidly, to learn how to improve and use their body well. I really recommend hitting plyometrics once a week, usually midway through the week when you need to feel a little bit more recovery, you need to feel that juice, that explosiveness, hit that in the middle of the week, and that's something that you can actually get if you click on the link down below. Head over to throwsuniversity.com and you can pick up one of our throwing training programs. You'll see how we like to use hurdle hops and champion strides. Now that third key exercise is going to be an upper body movement and you guessed it because I love the bench press pad bench or time bench I think are the absolute best bench press variations that you can use to increase your explosiveness 
with the discus throw. When we time our athletes, okay, we put them under the microscope and we put the stopwatch on them and we can put the video after we record it, we can watch it in coach's eye and see how quickly they execute the movement, okay? So what we wanna see is when their elbows break, that eccentric start is when the clock starts. And we wanna see the intent, the speed, and the turnaround position be as explosive as possible. The one problem here is that some athletes tend to get a little bit out of control. And so if you get somebody who's not as coordinated, I would not do a timed bench press. Instead, I would use a pad bench, okay? And so the pad bench is where we might put a thick foam pad on our chest and we lower that nice and explosively. And because you're using a pad, it shortens the range of motion and it actually helps you in the stretch shortening cycle. So it helps you accelerate more. And then because there's a little bit more weight at the top, you're still able to lock that out and strengthen your triceps. This really helps prime the nervous system to be more explosive. And I even believe sometimes with discus throwers, it's actually okay to go a little bit more narrow because that will lengthen their pecs a little bit more and that'll help them get into that deep stretch position and hit that monster finish. And finally, that last key movement to help you be more explosive as a discus thrower is going to be the power snatch. This is a simple movement. Every single thrower should be doing this. Every single thrower should know how to make hip contact. Every single thrower should know how to rotate and catch with that mobile upper back. Okay, and think about the power snatch. When we catch, okay, we're catching deep. We're catching in a mobile position overhead. This is important for thoracic rotation, for thoracic extension when we're catching that discus. If we have a stable shoulder girdle that's mobile, and it's explosive, that's gonna transfer to catching that discus deep. So not only are we gonna gain that strength and that explosiveness, that power development when we make hip contact, when we finish with that big snatch, but it's also gonna transfer over with our mobility. So this is a win-win situation. The power snatch is a great movement to help ignite your nervous system and help you be more explosive. If you do this for six, seven, eight weeks, by the end of eight weeks, not only are you gonna be stronger, you're gonna be way faster and you're gonna have a greater rate of coordination. And remember back to the beginning, the entire goal, the entire purpose around the discus throw is who can develop force the fastest. And that's exactly where that power snatch comes into play. Again, use the power snatch once or twice a week and you can pair that with other crazy movements. And you can also focus on training those champion strides along with hurdle hops. That's gonna increase your rate of force development. Pair that throughout the week with that time bench press or that pad bench press and then finish off with a side medicine ball throw. And that's gonna help you become a more explosive discus thrower. Remember, if you need help with your training, click on the link down below, head over to throwsuniversity.com and pick up our throws base training program today to help you smash those PRs. Until next time, guys, peace.